Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard Leland Neal. This is Richard Leland Neal channel. And many of you may remember uh, my cat Jack here. He has been very affectionate in recent months. And every time I would come home, he would... Maybe within the first 15 minutes, he would jump on my shoulder and he would stay there and insist on being in my videos. Well... About two weeks ago, I came home. I was working an evening shift, and Jack had gotten out. And as my brother says, every time Jack gets out, I got tired of chasing him. I haven't seen him since. I haven't spoken to my brother since that night, but then, you know, hey, we don't have that much. We don't actually, living in the same house, we don't really have that much in common in terms of interaction. You know, he does his thing, I do my thing, and, and rarely do the twain of us meet. But, I mean, the problem is, you see him here, he's a nice big fat cat, but he's gotten very old, he's 19, and he's losing weight quickly, and about two months ago he was actually spitting up blood, he's in such poor health, and snotting all over everything, and it's just, you know, look, he can't be outside, because he's too friendly, and he can't defend himself, and I have dickhole neighbors who really would just love to get a hold of him and do terrible things to him. So now he's missing and presumed dead. And the thing about that is that the worst part is the not knowing. It's if I knew he were still alive or if I knew he were dead, at least I would have that closure. But I'm not permitted the ability to mourn. I can't go out there and get the appropriate alcohols and sit down and drink drink my sorrows away I can't make that assumption yet you know now again in his state he would not have lived this long without food because uh, he wasn't doing well but I put food outside regularly for the visiting cats for the ferals in my neighborhood and you know uh, it's possible somebody picked him up and that they are keeping him indoors and that a week from now, he might run out the door and come on home. And, you know, that's that's just something I have to contend with, is it's an idea. that You know, you never, you're never going to know what happened to Jack. But then that leaves me with the question, should I be sad or should I be angry? I certainly had a lot of angry. But you know, I was at the store today, and I saw that they had cat treats, which they haven't had recently, and, and it was a pain point. And why was it a pain point? Because he was losing weight, and I wanted to get cat treats for him, and, you know, there weren't any good price, the prices had gone up, and so I didn't do it. And now it's like, well, I wish I had, because... What little time I had left with him would have been that much more enjoyable. Now, to be flatly honest with you, Jack, in his age, has really been tearing me up. I'm covered in scars under this shirt. Most of my black shirts are just destroyed. But that goes with owning an animal. I mean, you know, one of those things that happened to me when I was growing up is my father would complain... He complained about me wetting the bed. And it's like, you know, that's part of having a child. That's what they do. It's unfortunate, perhaps, unpleasant. But, you know, if you didn't want to deal with that, you shouldn't have had a kid. So, yes, Jack, sometimes he poos in the wrong place and gets snot all over my clothes. And the keyboard I'm working off... The screen here has cat boogers on it still. But I'm not mad about that. I'm mad about the fact that I lost my animal. And 
I miss it. Even though I have five more, you know, they're individuals. They can't be replaced. Anyway, I'm Richard. Hello there. This is El Mouso Fabuloso, and I would just like to say, have you noticed how ridiculously sexy Richard is? Well, yes, he is sexy, and he is helping the environment, promised to take a pound of trash out of the ocean through the company for ocean once he's monetized for every thousand subscribers he gets. He's already paid for two pounds, and as I film this, not even 2,000 subscribers and not monetized. So, so he is just an absolutely fabulous, sexy, sexy man. And you, you, you lucky dog, you can make him even more sexy by commenting and liking this video and giving, giving him that thumbs up. And then subscribing and letting everybody know how absolutely sexy he is. Let's make, let's make Richard the sexiest man on earth. Because we all know. We all know he is already, all right? We all know he deserves that. So yes, oh, so sexy. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm sexy too. Sexy in blue.